Today we are going to learn about our first chapter that is number system. That is chapter 1. It is number system. Right. Now different types of numbers you have learned in your previous classes. That is odd numbers, even numbers, prime numbers, composite numbers, etc. Right. Now what do you mean by odd numbers? So odd numbers are numbers in which numbers in which unit digits unit digit is either 1 3 5 7 or 9 then all the numbers are called odd numbers for example 2700 and Five. Now see the unit digit is 5 that means it is odd number. Now the next one is even number opposite of odd that is even. So numbers in which the unit digit unit digit is either 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0. Then all the numbers are called even numbers. For example 5172 now see the unit digit is 2 so it is even number the next one is prime number what do you mean by prime number so prime number which is having only two factors which is having only two factors one and number itself right for example 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 and so on right composite number composite number opposite of prime that is composite which is having more than two factors which is having more than two factors right that is 4 6 8 9 12 and so on now see one is not there in composite also in prime also so, 1 is known as special number. It is special number. Now, 2 is the only even prime number. Right? Now, see, if you will find out the entire list of prime number, you will not get a single even number rather than this 2. That means 2 is the only even prime number. 1 is not prime and 1 is not composite because one is a special number now in addition to this you have learned about natural numbers also right natural numbers what do you mean by natural numbers natural numbers means 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on this all are known as natural number and it is denoted by capital N. Now the next one is whole numbers. What is it? It is whole numbers. Right. And it is denoted by capital W. Now what are, what, which numbers are there in whole numbers? So it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5 and so on. Now observe both the sets carefully. Natural numbers and whole numbers. Natural number starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And whole number starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So based on this, can we say that all natural numbers are whole numbers? 
Yes, all the natural numbers are whole numbers. Can we say that all whole numbers are natural numbers? I am repeating again. Can we say all whole numbers are natural numbers? Then answer will be no. Why? Because 0 is there in whole number which is not a natural number. So, all whole numbers are not natural numbers. Right? Now, the next set of numbers is integers. Is integers. Jers, right and it is represented by z now which numbers are included in this integers now you have learned about the negative numbers right minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 you learn about 0 also 1 2 3 4 5 and so on that means Integers are positive integers, negative integers and zero that are called the integers, right? Again, integers means what? Integers is a set of numbers which includes positive numbers, negative numbers and zero, right? Now, can we say that all whole numbers are integers? Now, if we hide this negative numbers, then see 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 5 and so on. They are the whole numbers, right? So, we can say that all whole numbers are integers. Can we say that all integers are whole numbers? Then answer will be no. Why? Because in integers, negative numbers are also included which are not there in whole numbers, right? So, all integers are not whole numbers, but yes, all whole numbers are integers, right? The next one is rational numbers. It is rational numbers, set of numbers, that is rational numbers, which is denoted by capital Q. Right. Now, which numbers are included in this set? So, any number, any number which is in P by Q form. Right. Which is in P by Q form where Q is not equal to 0 and P and Q both are integers right again rational numbers the set of numbers that is represented by capital q so any number which is in p by q form which is in p by q form and where q is not equal to 0 and p and q both are integers now see here carefully it is written integers it is not written natural number or else whole numbers right if it is written natural numbers then only positive numbers but here it is written integers that means both positive and negative number can be there main condition that is q is not equal to zero why because q is in denominator and den denominator cannot be zero right for example I would like to give you example for the rational numbers. If I say that 3, can we say that 3 is a rational number? Can we say that 3 is a rational number? So, yes. Why? You might be thinking that 3 is not in the form of P by Q, right? But we can write that 3 upon 1, right? So, that is in P by Q form. Second, Q is not equal to 0 and P and Q both are integers. Which integers? Positive integers. So, yes, 3 is a rational number. Right? Other example. Minus 4 upon 3. Can we say that minus 4 upon 3 is a rational number? So, yes. Why? Because Q is not equal to 0. Right? And other thing, minus 4 and 3 are integers right minus 4 is negative integers and 3 is 
positive integer right now the next one is irrational number irrational numbers right so opposite of rational number that is irrational number and irrational numbers are represented by capital r so numbers which cannot be which cannot be represented represented by p by q form where q is not equal to 0 and p and q are integers right so all the numbers are known as irrational numbers right for example if i say 3.124.37 dot 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 right now see here it is infinity so you can represent that in p by q form right so it is not rational number so it is irrational number in addition root numbers that is root 2 root 5 root 11 all such numbers are irrational number in addition pi pi is also an irrational number right right so this many sets we have learned today the first one natural number that is capital n and which it, it includes one two three four five six and so on then whole numbers in which it includes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. It is represented by capital W. Right. Now all the whole numbers are not natural numbers. But all the natural numbers are whole numbers. The next set that we have learned about is integers. It is represented by capital Z. And what is it? It is nothing but the positive numbers negative numbers and zero that are the integers the next is rational numbers which is represented by q it is simple any number which is in p by q form where q is not equal to zero and p and q both are integers then they are called rational number for example three can we say that 3 is a rational number? So yes. Why? Because 3 can be represented by P by Q form. That is 3 upon 1. Then another minus 4 upon 3. Now based on this, can we say that all the natural numbers are rational numbers? So yes, all the natural numbers we can represent this way same way for negative numbers we can say that all the negative numbers are rational numbers the last one that is a irrational number now what is irrational number it is opposite of rational number it is represented by r now numbers which cannot be represented by p by q form where q is not equal to 0 and p and q are integers for example 3.12437 dot 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 cannot be represented by p by q form right it is not ending so we cannot represent this by p by q form other root 2 root 5 root 11 and so on all the root numbers are irrational number in addition pi is also irrational number right